What's going on? This is Eugene of the Beat Kangs crew. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the functionality of the Auto Chop feature, one of our new features we added. And the Auto Chop feature is in kit mode, so I'm going to select a new kit. And I'm going to set my cursor to pad 0C and go to my samples folder at the top and bring my sample in on that pad. And I'm going to go ahead and set the trigger mode to gate so it'll just only play while I hold the pad. And let's take a listen to this sample. Cool, I like the sample. I'm going to bring the volume up of it a little bit. And probably a good volume right there and I also want to speed it up a little bit so I'm gonna turn the pitch up and it should be a little little louder and a little faster you want to make sure to set these these adjustments before you do auto chop mode that's this way it will span all the adjustments to the other pads and I'm gonna show you how that will affect that here in a minute but let's go ahead and scroll to the sample view and in the sample view is where you can access the auto chop feature so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and as you see we have a default setting with a sensitivity in the default. I'm just going to bring the sensitivity down a little bit and it's a good setting and I'm also going to bring the frequency up just a bit too so I have a pretty good span of the transients. I'm going to go ahead and select OK and this screen shows us how far our chops are spent across the pad so as you can see our first chop starts on bank 0, pad 0C zero and it spans all the way up to 11B on bank one. And here where we can adjust our chop and start points of our samples, but I think I'm good with this. I'm gonna go ahead and select complete. And as we see now, our pads all contain chops of the samples. And as you can see, all our adjustments, like our volume and pitch stays the same. So I'm going to scroll over to the sample view again, and here we can see how our chops correspond with the sample. So let's say I want to just take this sample and just spread it out a little bit more. I can just drag this green bar over, and let's take a listen. As you can see, it plays a little bit more now, so I like that a little bit better. So. I'm going to go ahead and save this kit and I'm going to call it sample. Select the user. Yeah. All right, so we have the kit saved. So I'm going to go ahead and hit exit. And as you can see, we have the sample here. We can also bring down our user kit folder too. And there we have it. So I'm gonna to go to pattern mode and I already have a basic four bar loop here. Go ahead and play it. I'm going to go ahead and bring my sample into this track and just kind of demo it a little bit. As you hear, this, this pad right here has a it's like it's being looped back and it's short. I'm gonna adjust this to where it plays a little bit more of that sample. So if you hold down the Alt key and press the Kit button, it'll take you to Quick Kit Edit Mode. 
And I'm gonna scroll over to the sample view and press this pad and you see it's a little close. I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And we can exit back to our pattern. And I'm gonna take a listen to this pad now. As you can see, it's a little bit longer now. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this song back. Use my MIDI to controller to trigger the pads. Okay, I think I got a pattern that I want to lay down. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And I'm going to arm the record, hit play. I'm going to use my media controller to trigger the samples and record. So let's see what it do. Now we have a pattern laid down with the sample as you see here and I want to do some adjustments if I want to do that then I can go back in the quick kit edit mode and we can do that by selecting the alt holding alt on your keyboard and selecting kit and this brings us into the quick kit edit mode as you can see the song is still playing we can do some adjustments here so I'm gonna hold down shift and control and speed the Speed it up a little bit. Let's see. I'm also going to adjust a little bit of the volume, bring it down a little bit. And I'm just going to bring that back to three. That was a good setting. I like three. You can also scroll over to the sample view and you can adjust a pad on the fly so I can bring this back. And as you hear, it's shortening that sample. Go ahead and bring it back. Go ahead and I'm gonna save what I have and exit back into pattern mode. And this concludes the auto chop tutorial.